good morning good afternoon and good evening so today i got galaxy s10 5g and uh, this is the korea variant i have updated my mobile phone to the latest stock firmware model number is g977n s10 5g and single sim variant mobile currently i have updated my mobile phone manually i have flashed the stock firmware of the korea variant firmware one ui 4.1 and wide version 12 and uh, build number if you can see that the last alphabets or digit wd3 this is the latest uh, stock firmware available on the website that i have flashed on my mobile phone so my mobile phone is currently updated to the latest stock firmware and i will show how to flash the one ui 6.1 ported rom on this galaxy s10 5g we need to unlock the boot order first on this screen tap the build number for seven times one two three four five six seven developer mode has been turned on we'll go back to settings then we'll go to developer option and turn on the oem unlocking turn on right and check the mobile phone battery must be charged to maximum like maximum means 50 60 70 40 percentage so the mobile phone can get the firmware easily then go to software update tap download and install but and you see that the internet must be connected on your mobile phone let the mobile phone check the updates once okay i got the software up to date we'll go back then go to accounts and backup manage account remove the samsung account in case if you are using it then sync your google account and remove it to avoid any issues later then go to lock screen and turn off the lock screen by selecting swipe and save all the internal storage data otherwise the for the mobile phone will get formatted and all the stuff will get formatted too then simply power of the mobile phone So we have to download these files links are uh, provided in my video description so these four files the twrp ordering pack for the g977 one ui 6.21 rom for galaxy s10 series exynos cleaner and exynos uh, repartition file from the website where developer already uploaded the files then download the kernel su if you want to have a root access on your mobile phone if you want to make the device certified ordin play integrity fix file and this one right first of all you need to install the samsung usb driver on your windows to let the windows detect the mobile phone easily then extract the ordin file double click the extracted folder then double click the ordin file to open the ordin then uh, click ok on this window and ordin is open now click any slot if you want i will go for ab then i will go to my downloaded folder and i will select the tar file the ordin pack file i will double click on it and uh, ordin is ready now we have to boot the mobile phone into ordin mode now we need to check the cable the other side of the cable must be connected with computer mobile phone must be power off and uh, we need to boot the set into ordin mode for that press and hold the volume down key and big speed key then connect the cable a warning screen will appear in case if it does not then uh, do the procedure once again because the mobile phone is old and it was not in good hands so the actually the button the bixby button is not working properly so i have to press the button properly once again i will do the procedure i will repeat the procedure pressing the volume down key then bixby key and then connecting the cable with mobile phone and this time i got the warning screen now we have to unlock the bootloader first on this screen press and hold the volume up key for a little long time the other screen will appear and release the volume up key and press the volume up key once to unlock the bootloader but remember when i press after pressing the volume up key 
the mobile phone will just take a little time to unlock the bootloader then it will get auto reboot so as soon the mobile phone gets reboot i will press and hold the volume down key big speed key to let the mobile phone boot into uh, audio mode once again right so i will press the volume up key and i'm going to ready okay i have pressed the volume down key big speed key once again so the mobile phone got booted into warning screen and now i will press the volume up key once to boot the mobile phone into audio mode this is the audio screen uh, model number is g977n binary is samsung official frp lock is off oem lock is off and in a brackets you will see u means that bootloader is got unlock now on the computer screen Audin detected the mobile phone com4 i will go to options and tick auto reboot go back to log then click start to start flushing the things on the mobile phone okay done you can see pass and click reset then click exit go back to download it folder now now i need your concentration here we need to boot the mobile phone into custom recovery still the mobile phone boot it into audio mode now we need to press the volume up key volume down key big speed key and power key press the buttons properly so the mobile phone will boot into custom recovery now when mobile phone gets reboot i will release the volume down key first when samsung logo appears then i will release the power key and when the, uh, the twrp screen appears then i will release the volume up key and big speed key right so pressing all four keys at the same time one two three releasing the volume down key first now releasing the power key just waiting and now you can release the other two keys the mobile phone will boot into recovery maybe maybe the mobile phone will straight boot into recovery or maybe it will do something the scripting file and maybe it will uh, reboot yes you can see that already started doing that now the phone may be automatically boot into recovery or maybe it will start booting to stock rom if it start to booting to stock rom then we need to boot the mobile phone back into custom recovery i am waiting i'm just checking what the mobile phone will do if it start booting then i will forcefully booting it into twrp on or if it's boot into twrp then things are good okay we got the recovery screen and swipe to allow modification so the recovery main screen got appears on the mobile phone and uh, the internal storage also appears but it is not in proper form which means that the storage got encrypted because i was having a stock firmware and uh, we have to decrypt the storage now now on the mobile phone screen tap wipe then tap format data then type yes and tap here turn go back to main screen tap reboot and tap recovery swipe to allow modifications and uh, now we got the internal storage on the computer screen having proper form we can copy paste now we'll go to my downloaded folder and i will copy the repartition file first from the downloaded folder then i will go to internal storage of my mobile phone and will paste that file on the internal storage done on the mobile phone screen tap install then select the repartition file by tapping on it and then swipe to start flushing it now the mobile phone will wait here and it will do the flashing thing and then the mobile phone will gets reboot automatically just wait here swipe to allow modifications and uh, the internal storage will appears once again on the computer screen now we have to do the format data things once again on the mobile phone screen tap wipe tap format data type yes and tap here and then go back to main screen tap reboot and tap recovery 
okay swipe to allow modifications and this time we will get the internet storage once again on the computer screen having a proper form we can copy paste this time once again we'll go to download it folder and i will copy the rom file and the cleaner file from the downloaded folder then i will go back to my internet storage of my mobile phone will paste both files over here so both files got copied on internet storage coming back to on the mobile phone screen swipe to unlock then tap install select the cleaner file first by tapping on it and then swipe to start flashing so the mobile phone will get reboot automatically when this file flashing done okay so i have to allow modifications things are going good so far now tap install and select the rom file by tapping on it and then swipe to uh, start flashing it now the flashing will take a little time so we have to wait here so flashing done tap reboot system and i will wait the mobile phone will start porting to the one ui 6.1 ported rom soon the first boot will take a time and you can see that there is no more warning screen message after when we are rebooting or power on the mobile phone the logo is changed now so wait for the first boot then i will continue First boot completed, didn't took that much time. Complete the setup screen. So the ROM got flashed very properly and very perfectly. I was getting a message that uh, they are not getting flashed the ROM on the G977N. I was and looking for this device and I am lucky that I got the device. Okay, I will do some changes in my display. okay now it's better we'll go to about phone here we go the galaxy s10 5g model number now is changed because it this the rom is ported from the flagship mobile phone and i can see two ime numbers over here but both ime numbers are seen we'll tap the software information and you can see that the rom is now one ui 6.21 and white version 14 baseband version is same over here and the build number is now changed now the thing is now those who like to have a, a device certified they need to root the mobile phone the root the rom those who do not want to root access they can simply log in gmail account start using the rom straight away downloading the applications directly from the play store the banking application will also work if the device is not certified but in case if you want to make the device certified for certain reason then you need to root the rom to get how to make the device certified now i will start the procedure of routing so the mobile phone is already connected with my computer and the already the usb uh, option got changed from charging to usb for file transfer i will copy the kernel su file the play integrity fix module file the zygisk next module file i will copy these files from here and i will go to my internal storage of my mobile phone and i will paste those file over here okay finally i am done from my computer now i can disconnect the cable from the mobile phone going to menu then uh, opening the my files or software or application then we'll go to internal storage we'll tap the essentials we'll select the all we'll scroll down i will install first the kernel su application going to settings giving the permission then we'll tap install okay done tap open if it is not working then go back to main screen and go to menu yes i can see the icon of kernel su we'll tap to open the kernel su this thing working which means that the kernel su is working properly 
now we'll go to last section then we'll tap install then i will go tap recent we'll select my files and we'll tap the internal storage and i will install the modules now first i will install the zygisk turn it is getting installed just wait turn now go back then once again tap install select recent i will select the my files once again internal storage and i will install the plain integrity fix module file done and it is getting installed when it is done then go back to main screen once again go to settings then go to apps here we go then search for play first select the play store then tap storage then tap clear data delete turn go back then search once again play select play services select storage select clear data clear all data delete done go back and restart the mobile phone unlocking screen we'll uh, once again we'll go to kernel su then we will go to module sections you just check that uh, modules are properly working if you see any red lines which means that modules is not working properly in case if you see any update over here then update the modules now this one the middle one it is a section that where we can uh, give the permission or bypass the security application like banking application which usually not opening after uh, getting a root access so we can do that from here this is the main kernel su screen things are all okay now the mobile phone is already connected with internet i will go once again to settings and to software information to about phone and to software information and i will check the google play system update once again i will tap on it okay it is not working i have no idea why but maybe maybe it will get uh, update automatically so finally the google play system can be accessed by tapping on it uh, well uh, after flushing the rom and i was editing my video like uh, it took around uh, 1.5 or 2 hours then i just check and yes it is working now so we have to update the google play system update it is currently showing first jan 2024 internet is connected on the mobile phone if you tap on this google play system update then you can see that google play system update available if it was not coming earlier but you can do that like after one hour or two hour if it is coming then straightly update it otherwise you can do this thing later on so i will install these play system update by download tapping it tapping the download and install so let me remind you that uh, this thing will take a little time after do uh, after done just restart now okay i'm back on the software information still still i can see that uh, google play system update is having jan first jan tapping it once again yes tapping the download and install and it will do the things over here so after repeating the procedure for uh, five times finally google play system update got updated from 1st jan to 1st july 2024 let me check once again okay the your device is up to date we got the rom and uh, the uh, rom is also rooted i got the kernel su and after logging the gmail account you can see the play store will start updating when it gets update the definitely you will see device is certified so thank you so much for watching the video we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye